This lesson will show how to determine the eigenvalues of a given 2x2 two two matrix. For review, if A is an n by n matrix, lambda is a number or scalar, and vector x is a non-zero vector such that matrix A times vector x equals lambda times vector x, then lambda is an eigenvalue of matrix A, and vector x is an eigenvector corresponding to lambda. To derive the equation that we use to determine the eigenvalues of a given matrix, we begin with the equation matrix A times vector x equals lambda times vector x, but we multiply the right side of the equation by the identity matrix. So the right side becomes lambda times the identity matrix times vector x. The next step is to subtract lambda times the identity matrix times vector x on both sides of the equation, and then factor out the vector x. From here, since vector x can't equal the zero vector, the matrix that is a difference of matrix A and lambda times the identity matrix is singular or not invertible, and therefore the determinant of the difference of matrix A and lambda times the identity matrix must equal zero. This equation is called the characteristic equation. The solutions to this equation will give us the eigenvalues of matrix A. Let's go back up to this line here just for a moment and justify why the matrix that is the difference of matrix A and lambda times the identity matrix is singular or not invertible. If it was invertible or non-singular, the equation above would be in the form of some matrix B times vector x equals a zero vector, and there would be some inverse matrix B that if we multiplied both sides of the equation by B inverse, we would get vector x equals a zero vector, but again, by definition, vector x can't be the zero vector, and therefore we have a contradiction which verifies the matrix that is a difference of matrix A and lambda times the identity matrix is not invertible or singular. I also want to mention, if you look at different sources, you'll see the characteristic equation written in a slightly different form where the matrix is lambda times the identity matrix minus matrix A. I do want to show how to derive the alternative form, but before we do, Looking at the notes on the right, if we have just a determinant, we have the characteristic polynomial, and if we have the determinant equal to zero, we have the characteristic equation, and again, the solutions to the characteristic equation will give us the eigenvalues for the given matrix A. And now let's quickly derive the alternative form of the characteristic equation. We start with the same equation, matrix A times vector X equals lambda times the identity matrix times vector X, but instead of subtracting lambda times the identity matrix times vector x on both sides, we subtract matrix A times vector x on both sides, change the order of the equation, and then factor out vector x. And notice how this does give us the alternative form of the determinant of the difference of lambda times the identity matrix and matrix A equals zero. We can use either determinant to determine the characteristic polynomial as well as the characteristic equation. And now let's look at an example. Let's determine the eigenvalues of the given matrix A. So we begin with the characteristic equation, which gives us a determinant of matrix A minus lambda times the two by two identity matrix. Next we perform scalar multiplication with lambda and then subtract the two matrices, which gives us a determinant of the two by two matrix where the entries are negative five minus lambda, two, negative seven, and four minus lambda. If we compare this matrix to the original matrix, notice how the only difference is we subtracted lambda from the elements along the main diagonal. So after a while, we'll skip all these steps and go straight to this step. The next step is to find the determinant, set it equal to zero and solve. The determinant is equal to the product of negative five minus lambda and four minus lambda minus the product of two and negative seven. Multiplying the two binomials, we have negative 20 plus lambda plus lambda squared plus 14 equals zero. Combining like terms and writing the terms in descending order, we have lambda squared plus lambda minus six equals zero, which is factorable. The two factors are lambda plus three and lambda minus two. Because the product is equal to zero, we have lambda equals negative three and lambda equals positive two. These are the two eigenvalues of the given matrix A. In the next video, we'll determine the eigenvectors corresponding to these two eigenvalues. I hope you found this helpful.